That's actually pretty sweet. I didn't. I was just making stuff up. I, oh my. Oh, we gotta get Stephanie in here. All right, here's Stephanie. Let's uh, play some piano. <laughs> I don't know why it sounds like that. You can probably change it. It's a synth bass. Oh yeah. This is the kind of game you just hop in and play from. No, don't grab the GoPro. Before we get started, I gotta say thank you to my new Patreons in the front. Thank you to my new patrons. I just cannot keep up with you guys. We got Tim R. We got Eddie A. And we got Steve G. He's a full self-driving patron, so he gets a full page. These cards are made and designed by Stephanie. Thank you all. We both really appreciate you. And you are now in the frunk. And even since I started making this video, we have a couple more. Uh, I gotta say thank you to Thomas. Gotta say thank you to Ruben. Gotta say thank you to Adam. And gotta say thank you to Andy. You guys will be in the frunk in the next video. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are here with the latest update. You've probably seen the internet ablaze talking about this update 2019.40.50.1. This update went out to a lot of people and that didn't include me. And of course it didn't go out to everyone. And we were having a lot of fun on Twitter kind of complaining about this. I finally got some baby Christmas magic to help me out. And that uh, seemed to bring the update. So if you don't have the update yet, don't worry, it's coming. I wanted to quickly go through the release notes with you here. If at any point you wanna read them, just go ahead and pause. I'll quickly glance over these and give you my thoughts. I am on hardware 2.5, so I don't get any of the cool visualizations, but if you promise to stick with me, check out this video. I have a link to a video of a buddy who has it on his hardware 3 model 3, and you can see the visualizations on his screen when you're done with this one. Okay, so first up is voice commands. These have been here in a very limited capacity. You could do things like search for a song or play a song or play another song you know and beyond that uh, you can navigate to a destination and there really wasn't much else now we can do all kinds of things for example open the backup camera open the backup camera open the backup camera open the rear camera uh, I can't get this to work hello play a song open the backup camera show me the rear camera Show me the rear camera. Wow, mine is like, that took me forever to get that to work and you can see the text was, uh, I, I did a lot of takes on that. I don't know, that's really weird. Close the backup camera. Open the glove box. Open the glove box. Uh, I don't know, I'm having a lot, okay. Okay, so it finally did it. You can see that opened over there. Uh, mine are really laggy. I didn't see that in other videos. I'm not sure why that's happening. Maybe my car needs a restart. I will be right back. So let's try these again now that I restarted the car. Open the rear camera. Open the rear camera. Show me the rear camera. Open the... Okay. So opening backup camera. So I don't know, mine are really delayed. I'm not seeing that in other people's videos. Turn off the HVAC. Okay, I give up. Um, I don't know why this is not working like at all. It's very strange, but the point of it is that it's supposed to be more like natural language. So you can just talk to the car in whatever way that you want and it should do what you want. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna send anonymous information back so that if you ask for something and maybe if it just straight doesn't work for you, like it didn't for me, uh, they will send that back and they will keep improving this feature. So if you phrase something the car doesn't understand, hopefully soon in the future, you can say the exact same thing and it will do it. So let's see if camp mode works. So in this one, you can go into your climate and oh, they changed this little menu. That's nice. It used to be kind of an ugly pop-up and now we have climate on. So this has been here, but if you leave the car, it can keep the climate on while you're in the store or whatever. Dog mode, of course, we all know with the message on the screen and now camp mode so car will stay awake until battery reaches 20 percent so kind of similar to keep climate on but i think as you're in the other seats and stuff the screen's just going to stay on and it'll keep charging your devices and things like that so that's really nice phone improvements this is huge now we get text messaging and this is something that's in a lot of other cars so it was almost a little embarrassing that teslas didn't have it but i'm so happy to have it now let's try it out okay so i have a text message coming in from stephanie hopefully this will display on the screen there's a new setting here. I can show you a picture of that. And this is the new settings you get and you can have it chime when a text message comes in, which is pretty nice. I don't know if I'll keep it on, but I'm gonna try it out for now. And there it is. So we get a little chime. You can click this button to hear it. Stephanie says Merry Christmas. So Stephanie said Merry Christmas. And 
actually gave us a little Christmas tree emoji. So that's really cool. So emojis work. You can see emojis on there and clicking the button. If I click again, it, it said I could have clicked to reply, but I missed it. All right, Tesla Theater now has Twitch in there, uh, which is used to watch people play video games. If you're not aware what Twitch is, uh, it's kind of like YouTube, but specifically for video games and mostly centered around live streaming. We have Stardew Valley, which is a really fun game. I used to play this a lot on PC and I don't really have that much time anymore, um, but I really did enjoy this game and it's cool to have it in the car. I could see hopping on that at a supercharger for a little bit. Backgammon, a classic game that I have no idea how to play, so I probably won't be trying that at least for a while. Voice keyboard, so now instead of having to kind of search around for each button and tap, we can just hit a button and we can say what we want to say and it'll fill that in for us. Tracks version 0.1, which is a way to make music in your car. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have Sam come try this out. Sam is my buddy who makes all the music for the channel. So like, especially in the Tesla challenges, when you hear the music going, uh, that's all from him. So maybe he can make us a beat in the Tesla that I can use in my videos. Here's a really smart addition. Save dash cam clips when you honk. So let me walk around the car really quick then honk the horn. It should save like the last 10 minutes or so. And we can check that footage once it's done. Here it is in the settings, save clips on honk. You can see that's being saved. If I click this, uh, we didn't see anything. I was expecting this to show a clip or something. Maybe if I, oh, and I just heard it, there it goes. That's it right there. So it did the little beep and then you can see the downloading and that's saved. So it did save that clip after a few seconds. That's good because when you click it, when you click this little button, that little bit gets cut off. So it waited a few seconds and then saved the clip. So that should save the previous 10 minutes. That's really nice. I'm gonna have this enabled because in Michigan, it's really rare to use your horn. I mean, even like if somebody cuts me off, usually I'm just too shocked to even do it. I'm more concerned with not hitting them. This will be good for me because if I'm hitting my horn, then something pretty big is probably happening. But I know a lot of other states and a lot of other places in the world, horns are not that rare to use. So I think there are some people that may leave that off. So now they've made driver profiles a little more customized. So these different settings here, such as volumes, will get saved to each specific person's profile, which again is really nice. Stephanie has different preferences preferences for volume than I do. Uh, so that works out really nicely. We don't have to keep adjusting those things as we switch off who's driving. And then new language support for Danish. Very cool. I don't speak Danish, but that's, that's nice. All right. So if we check out the entertainment tab here, Twitch right there. Again, this is just like YouTube. Uh, if you use Twitch, you know what the website looks like. It's going to look just like that. And if we go into the arcade, our new games, this is just so cool uh, to see Stardew Valley here. This is the kind of game you just hop in and play from. <laughs> no, don't grab the GoPro. So, yep, just like on the computer. Stardew Valley music. Don't need the tutorials. You can make your person. We'll go random. That looks pretty good. Name it Dirty Tesla. Farm name is Batteries. Favorite thing. Baby. And then this is the game. Wow, you can use, I'm surprised you can use the touchpad for this one. So I can hold that rug and move it. Or I can just tell my guy where to go. So there he exits. But you do also get controller support. So if you want to play with a controller. And then of course we have to check out tracks. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see, oh. Okay, so these are different beats. Oh, so this is all the different stuff here. Okay, so they gave us an example. You cannot use the scroll wheel to change volume. I'm trying, but you can change volume up here, I assume. Oh yeah, oh, and I can add, add things or take them away. We can add, wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of choices here. So this, uh, this could be its own whole video. Oh, of course, of course we need that. Is that the cow? Why is that the cow? Why does the cowbell sound like that? That's actually pretty sweet. I didn't, I was just making stuff up. I like, oh my, oh, we gotta get Stephanie in here. All right, here's Stephanie. Let's uh, play some piano. How do I move it? I, I don't know if you can. Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, look at the little hand. Here, hold on. See that hand at the bottom? So you just... I need to sure. move it Oh, to you can't move the screen. I'm sorry. Come on. You're going to have to adapt and overcome. There's freaking GoPro in the way. <laughs> you can move that if you want. I wonder if you can change the... 
Okay, that's cool. <laughs> you got anything a little more advanced? Um, not on this thing. I can't. Can you do some chords? Look at that. I don't like. I need it to be smaller. Can you try to zoom out on it, or on the bot, on the bottom. No. All right, we need smaller. That's a request. I don't know why it sounds like that. You can probably change it. It says synth bass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Change instrument. Oh, okay. No, you just want a piano. Do you like that? All right, thanks. <laughs> well, I'm happy that we finally got the update. I mean, it's been a few hours of waiting, but you know, when you see everyone else updating, you're kind of like, come on, send me that update. I'm sad that we don't have the new visualizations, but Elon said that quarter one, they're gonna start really rolling out hardware three. So I hope that's true. We will see about that. If you don't have hardware three yet, Tesla will contact you when your VIN and name is up. You do not need to contact them. I actually did schedule an appointment like a lot of people have done and I got kind of a, you know, stern texting. So I won't be doing that anymore. I'll just wait for them to contact me. This video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. They actually just sent my little baby a Christmas gift, which was so nice of them. They have really great products. You can use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything on their entire website. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below and you will see me in the next video.